Hello, Dr. Minkoff. Hi, Michelle. Can you talk to us a bit about um, symptoms of Lyme disease, how it presents itself? Right. Well, you know, in the old days of infectious disease, the great mimicker was syphilis because it could present with bone disease, neurological disease, endocrine disease, and you always had to think about syphilis uh, if you were an infectious disease doctor and you were called in on a case which no one knew had any idea was going on. Uh, I trained in infectious disease in the early 70s and uh, early 80s, and so that's, I always kept that in the back of my mind. Now, syphilis is a spirochetal disease. It's a disease caused by an organism which is called a spirochete because it's round and it's spirally and it twists when it swims. And spirochetal disease has been in, with mankind pretty much forever. Uh, the early Greeks talked about diseases which were spirochetal in nature. We are in the middle of a spirochetal epidemic now, and that is Lyme disease. Borrelia burgdorferi and its friends, uh, some of which, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, are spirochetes. These are bacterial organisms which can mimic anything. So when someone gets infected, they may look like they've got an autoimmune condition, be diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. Uh, they may have a problem with their endocrine system with low hormones, no energy, pituitary malfunction. Uh, they may just have fatigue. They may have serious neurological disease where they have uh, tingling or weakness or they can't think or they're depressed or they're extremely anxious or they go into rages. All of which this, these, this disease sort of uh, combination can cause. And uh, so we always look for it because if you find it, it's a treatable condition. If you don't find it and you're treating the rheumatoid arthritis with methyltrexate or aspirin or something like this, the organisms which are causing the symptoms continue to be there and the disease continues to progress. So it's something that we're very keen on. We're in the middle of an epidemic right now. We see lots of this. And I think mainstream medicine is now looking more and more, and I think that's good because a lot of people are suffering uh, pretty much needlessly. Okay, thank you. <clears throat>